In this video, I'm going to show you some of the functions that I use to manage my object and bucket storage in OCI Cloud and being able to move uh, files from the file system into it and out of it. So there's going to be a couple of videos that will kind of go through uh, most of these steps. Now, what I have created is a series of different functions here. So in this video, I'm just going to go through some of them and in other videos, I'll go through other ones. So this one is first one is we have a look at, you know, can we list uh, all the different buckets that we have? Can we look at, you know, for each bucket, how many objects exist within them? So we get to see that there. Um, maybe can we do it for an individual bucket? Um, and and being able to do some kind of validation checks to see if buckets exist and if they don't exist, being able to create a bucket. Okay. Um, and also kind of delete a bucket uh, from it. Now, when we go to delete a bucket, you know, it needs to be empty. So we also need to build in some functionality to delete those objects uh, and then proceed to deleting the bucket. Now, I have all of the code from this video on my blog. So make sure you check the, the video description for the links to the blog posts for these. Um, so you can actually download all of this and being able to use it for yourself. Now, if I'm just going to scroll up here to all of these different functions that I've created, and we're just going to look at some of the kind of main kind of characteristics um, of these. Now, if I actually look at the, this one here, which is just lists all the buckets, is, well, it's a simple kind of one line OCI um, uh, function call. But in order to be able to build some useful functionality into this, I also have a loop that be able to print out all the different kind of information. So this one here gets a list of all the different buckets that exist within my, my cloud account. And then we'll loop through that list and being able to print out uh, the bucket name. Now, when we use this, we're using the OCI uh, Python um, library or package to be able to do this. So this is being able to, to call that. Now, there is a little bit of setup of, you know, being able to create your, your client object and stuff like that. But, you know, there's a, some simple code to be able to do that. And again, check the blog post to be able to, to look at that. Now, when we get into the scenario of, well, you know, can we list the buckets, but also list the buckets with the number of objects within it. So this is, you know, this particular function here is, is an extension of the first one, right? So we're going to do the exact same kind of um, bucket or OCI bucket uh, list uh, function call. So we're going to get the list of buckets. And then what we're going to do is for each of the buckets, we're going to go in and get the objects that are in that particular bucket space, and then being able to loop through those to be able to do some counts. Now there's a few different ways you can do those counts, but that's just one particular example of being able uh, to do that. But as you build out your different, you know, say, um, applications to be able to move data in and out of the buckets or across different buckets is you're going to need some additional functionality there to be able to help you to you know build out that so here's a few different um functions that can actually help you with that so you know check to see if a, a, a bucket exists uh being able to list you know maybe just the details of of a bucket and then being able to create a bucket so there's a little bit kind of uh, functionality there now we could just run the simple create bucket but you know again if you're building out some applications to be able to use this you know you need to have things in there that will check to see if the bucket exists you know if it doesn't exist then we create it well if it already exists well we don't have to do anything on it and similarly when we go to delete the bucket is that there's a little bit more functionality there than you know just deleting the actual uh, object you know which is this particular command, we need to do some validation on it, being able to check to see if the bucket exists. If it exists, you know, then we need to actually go through and delete the objects within it. You know, if there's no objects within it, then we can actually just proceed to deleting the, 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 the bucket. So when we start working with all of these, you know, we can take our individual, uh, OCI bucket commands and they're relatively simple and straightforward but it's all of this extra functionality that we need to build around it in order to make these functions a lot more usable so check out the description for the video for the link to the blog post that contains all of these functions and uh, examples of being able to run them